I just had the experience of a lifetime. I was able to go with uh, three old buddies of mine and my son down to Cosmo, Mexico to learn how to scuba dive. I am officially uh, qualified and certified to be a scuba diver and I had the chance of doing eight underwater dives. Uh, my friend Dave is a scuba fanatic and he scubas all over the world and uh, his buddy, my buddy, Bud Locke, uh, is a scuba instructor so he was able to perform all the needed training and then Tim, an old high school buddy, and my son Reagan all got certified and what an incredible experience it was to travel to Mexico together, to be in a hotel together with a group of guys, to eat together, to fellowship together, to laugh together, just to have great times, to get on the scooters and ride around the island and see the beautiful landscape, but then to dive into those waters each morning, to take eight underwater dives, to see the spectacular underwater world that we know about, that we've seen on movies and, and, and TV shows, but to be there personally, to think, I can do this, I can't believe I'm 70 feet underwater, I'm breathing uh, oxygen, I'm checking out all these fish. Uh, we saw a uh, nurse shark, we saw uh, sea turtles, we saw lobsters, we saw huge fish, parrotfish, all kinds of glorious colored fish. It was an amazing experience. And you know what? It's something I would have never done without a friend. Because my friend Dave and Bud had to believe in me enough and encourage me and my son to give it a try. Uh, when I would never have done something my friend encouraged me to see the possibility of doing something outside of my comfort zone. He inspired me, he encouraged me, he uh, believed in me, and he gave me the ability to think, hey, maybe I can do this. And even when I would come up with all kinds of hesitations, financial hesitations, maybe it would be too expensive, or maybe I'm too afraid to do this because it's out of my comfort zone, he would kind of answer back each and every time, Greg, you can do this, you can do this, you're gonna love it, it's incredible. And uh, I have Dave and Bud to thank for giving me an experience in my life that will be for the rest of my life, an opportunity to continue to scuba dive and to do it with my son, uh, who has the rest of his life to do it as well. And you know, it's all because of the value of quality friendships. And uh, I want to inspire you as I have been inspired to believe that seeking out and being the kind of valued friend so that you can have valued friendships and have the quality of valued friendships in your life. Let's do that and let's make friendship a value that is a priority in our lives. So if the value of quality friendships is an understood uh, importance in life, then why is it that we are, so many of us, lonely right now? The world is filled with lonely people. Uh, social statistics tell us that loneliness is on the rise. It's an epidemic public health concern because people are isolated and affixed to their TV or their Netflix or whatever, and they don't get out and they don't hang out with people and they don't relate with people. But friendship is the thing that elevates the quality of our lives. It, it's there for us when we're going through a hard time and it's there for us when we're going through good times and celebrations. Uh, Walter Winchell, the old... Uh, uh, columnist used to say, a true friend is the one who walks in when everyone else walks out. You want someone in your life that will walk into your life to care for you, to love you, to be in your corner uh, when it's hard and when it's good, to celebrate with you and to mourn with you. That's what the Bible says. We are to rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. That's why quality friendships matter so much to your health and to my health. That's why they're so important to pursue. That's why they're so, so important for us to seek out as though they were pure gold and fine silver. We've got to be people that pursue other people in order to have these kinds of tested quality friendships that make our life so much better. So if it's fair to say that everybody believes in the value of quality friendship and everybody wants quality friends in their lives, and uh, we also acknowledge that we're all struggling in this area, what can we do about it? Well, I think the key to having good quality friendships is to be a, a quality friend yourself. Um, I think the motivational speaker Zig Ziglar had it right when he said, if you go out to find friends, you're gonna find they're very scarce. But if you go out to be a friend, you're gonna find friends everywhere. And that's really a reminder that in order to have friends, you've gotta be a friend. 
You've got to reach out. You've got to be friendly. You've got to go to places where other people are. Perfect places like churches or your work environment or your school environment, wherever you interact with people. Uh, start there because that's your sphere of influence. That's your sphere of interaction. Uh, don't just stay home night after night after night and binge on Netflix. Go out and mingle with people, interact with people, get involved in a small group at your Bible study or, or, or at your local church. Uh, get connected with people through some kind of club or experience that you enjoy doing and make friends. But in order to make friends, you've got to be a friend first. And uh, I, I just stress that so much because I know that the experience I had with my friends uh, down in Mexico last week, the experience that Dave and Bud and Tim and my son Reagan and I had was truly extraordinary for me. But I would have never done it without a quality friend like Dave and Bud who encouraged and motivated and inspired me and pushed me past my own fears um, about doing something that I've never done before. And I'm the richer for it and you will be too when you're that kind of friend.